Good evening, family. And it is good evening. I've had a busy day. I should have had this one out this afternoon. My apologies for not being on schedule with the video so everybody knows what's going on. I hope I'm not interfering. Oh, no. Am I interfering with a Bible study? No fellowship. It's fellowship. So we're, only, we're not on here long fellowship, so keep fellowshipping. Okay. It's important. Now, listen, guys. Listen, we, we know. We know. It's high watch, okay? I know people hate the word rapture and high watch or date, and, and I don't set dates. I know that, but before I start, the channel is about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and the advancement of the kingdom of Father God in these end times, whereby if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved from what's coming. You're saved. That's what you need to do. Confess and believe. You believe first and faith will increase if you persist in the Lord, if you keep these things in your heart. That's the that's 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 the message. It's as simple as that. Then if you die tonight, which could happen to us all, then your salvation is secure in heaven, not hell. But better than that, you could be out on the rapture train, okay? Which is what we're all looking for. Now before I go into the news, because we're seeing Matthew 24 play off. Who's in this? Everybody's in. I, can't, I won't say, but good evening, everybody. Margaret. <laughs> good evening. Lucy, Philip, Jordan, Jeremy, BA, Christian. Love that. Hi, Bonnie, Louise. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Troy, Michael, Michael. How are you doing, everyone? Are we together? Are we together, okay? We need to be stood together. Even if it doesn't happen on, well, where have I gone, Passover, then we need to stay together, brothers and sisters. We need to keep our lamps lit. We do, we do, we do, seriously, keep ourselves in good company of each other. That's all I ask. That's why all the social media is set up. I will do a Twitch later on with further news, which will be shared on other sites, okay? But, you know, we're looking at the... What are we looking at? John 12, 1 to 2. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany. Six days. That would be tomorrow. Okay? If Passover is where it is. Are we watching for our Lord? Or are we the virgins with the lamps out? 50% of them virgins who were watching. They were watching. But their lamps had gone out. They'd gone back into the world. That's an interesting scenario, isn't it? So we need to be watching. Give us a pair of eyes. We need to be watching. Definitely need to be near the Lord right the way through. We should be anyway. You know, as the disciples were. I mean, even Peter spat the dummy a few times, didn't he? He got it wrong. But, you know, he came back at the right moment. You know, and even the thief on the cross confessed on the cross and got saved on the cross. Jesus said, this day you'll be with me in heaven. Okay, so keep in your eternal salvation, okay? Because <laughs> six days is tomorrow. That's before Passover. If I'm right, it'll do for me. Um, so I'm watching. I'm watching. Are we all watching? <laughs> but Icelandic, to, to keep on the track of Matthew 24, uh, signs, I am at the door. He is at the door. He is at the door. I, I I don't know how far a day is a thousand years, a thousand years is a day. Um, it's not a thousand years away, I can assure you. It's in this generation. Whatever this generation actually is, because a generation isn't a lifespan. You know, and we see in Psalms 90, three score years, 10 and, and 10 for stealth, 80 years. We're certainly in the 80 years. We're, come, we're in the 70 and a bit years. So I will take that one as a generation. A lifespan also was 120 years written in the Bible. So, But this generation is this generation that I'm sure I will not see it pass away. So we're staying strong. These videos are about staying strong. That's what they're about. Not saying this is a date. You know me. I'm not going to hurt you if I can get away with it. Okay, but let's have a look at this Icelandic yeah, volcano screen and camera. Icelandic eruption. We've got some video of this. <clears throat> Icelandic 
Volcano eruption underway. Fraj, my son's been there. He could pronounce this. Fragrus, I'll just say Rajevic. Rajevic, okay? Near Rajevic, okay? No fly zone established and public advised to stay away from area as red cloud highlights the sky. I'll play that in a minute. Yep. A volcano has erupted in Iceland near the capital of Reykjavik. After thousands of small earthquakes, 17,000 earthquakes were went off last week, or the week and a week and a half ago. Uh, earthquakes in the recent, this is could be a big one, could affect the polar cap, no doubt, because that's how high it is. Brother Morley, yom, this is it's nearer you than me. I can assure you, <coughs> earthquakes in that area in recent weeks. The Icelandic Meteorological Office said the red cloud lit up the sky, the night sky, after the eruption began in that word, okay, on Friday about 40 kilometres, 25 miles from the capital, Reykjavik. And no-fly zone has been established in these areas. Now, before I read any more, and we will play that now, before I read any more, these things are happening. If you don't know, if you don't know, and you haven't been looking, these things are happening all over the world, in massive quantities, big ones and small ones. You look at Dutch and Sense, for example, good YouTube channel to follow, and he will point out to you the major. If not, then ask Brother Morley. He's a good man for the volcanoes. Okay. <laughs> Peter, my lamp is lit. Amen, Margaret. Amen. Mine too, says Bet. Rapid progress of this progression of the signs. Absolutely. Let's just pray this play, pray, play this video and have a look. Top that with all the volcanoes that's been happening there. All the earthquakes, 17,000. Dear me. So that is a tip of an iceberg. We know Yellowstone. Morley, good evening, brother. Uh, I'm just talking about you. Um, the the Yellowstone to mention just a few of and fault lines that uh, Cascadia we know that this world is rattling in fact I did a video not so long ago that it was pulsating it was discovered it's actually pulsating like a heartbeat which is interesting to, to top the lot of what's going on is unmistakably prophe prophecy fulfilment at the end that's all i can say and to let's have a look at some prophecy news while we move through these items of news tonight prophecy news podcast at the end times heat up christians around the world are being pre-assured pre to remain silent pre-assured i don't know while wickedness rises okay now on this episode of NLB, there is an episode, there is a podcast, which we might play over on Twitch, because I can't get away with it here on YouTube. Am I on YouTube? i got to think with all this stuff. On this episode of the NTB, NTEB, not, Now the End Begins, uh, Prophecy News Podcast, we are looking at the many ways in 2021 that Christians are oppressed. It's not just the obvious. Ways that are not the in line with the traditional means of persecution. No, Christian persecution in 2021 is more subtle, more insidious th than in previous generations because these are the end times. I'll say it plainly. This is the end. The end or the beginning of God's 
judgment. People say, well, God's cruel, he's doing all these things. No, God is patient. He wanted to do this at the beginning. He wanted to do this at the start. And he's been patient for 6,000 years. All that prophecy is fulfilled accurately. That's how we know the last bit is going to be fulfilled. Less than 20%, I would suggest, of prophecy in the Bible is to be fulfilled. The rest come 100% accurate, like nothing else before. And what's coming is like the world has never seen before. They're trying to get off. They're trying to build stations on Mars and things that they can escape. They will not escape, not in time. You will not escape God. You will not escape him. His judgment is final and it's complete and it includes all. That's not a scare, to be honest with you. We're seeing this prophecy as one of the many that's coming up. Even, even you know, the, the, the simplest stuff, the subtlety that's coming in. We'll read this one. Lawmakers describe a dire escalating border situation, which is common news. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle are warning that the growing numbers of migrant children and their families who are filing, filing, holding facilities on the nation's border with Mexico are facing dire situations. I think that's what was in mind. Silence, pin drop. A dire situation while... Record numbers of people are being apprehended while trying to enter the country. It's a bizarre situation. But then everything t t everything that's happening in 2021 from escalating times of 17, 18, 19, 20 and now 21, it's here. Is it Passover? Is it? I don't know. I really don't know. But from now, I'm being very, very careful with my P's and Q's in front of the Lord. And I'm calling people in. I'm calling people in. You might call us fools, but we're not. We've been around this for a long time. And we're not good people. We're only good in Jesus. We're just the same as you. You are, whoever you are, whatever your gender is, God does not want to lose one. Everybody has the right to call on the name of Jesus everybody in these times and if you do please join us where in discord which one am I on I'm on Michael's room I'm gonna get it open oh fellowship room um never get it right fellowship room okay so the discord is a link in the description okay along with many others uh, and I'll go through them briefly before we Stop, because the reason to this is to bring people together so we can keep our lamps lit. I need my lamp lit. <clears throat> I've been running around after everybody today. And it's I, I, I had to come and sit here and pray and come back and then come on with you guys. And then I need Discord as much as anyone else. There's no boss there. But Jesus, he's the one. There's no pastor, vicar, preacher, priest. There's no brick and mortar. There ain't a roof on the place, but it's 24-7 global. And here it is. This is it. When you get there, when you go to the link in the description, the disciple server, there's a, a, a URL on it called Discord. Can't do anything about that. But you come into this room. You'll come into this room. As you can see, people come in. Welcome, welcome. Okay, this video has just gone out there, as you can see, on the general room. On the left, you've got lots and lots of rooms. Chat, video, the whole nine yards. A church with a permanent coffee table, if you know what I mean. Okay? It's a pleasure to be in. There are teams that are in here as well. The people are in here, Morley and stuff. Um, I don't see the others. They're probably doing Bible study. But you know, there is already 10 ministries in there. 10 ministries. Here he is. This God. Thank you, brother. There's the link in the chat. Click on it. Click on it. Scroll back afterwards and click on it. But there is a baptism uh, in offered in there from Grace Girl Victoria. Leave a message in the baptism room. You need that in lockdown. Not required for salvation, but it's an act of obedience. Divine healing from Cal M. She will pray over you. Healing through deliverance. Uh, room, Mary, Laura, Christine, Ida, Jess, myself and Cal are all working in the deliverance ministry. 
Brother Morley, who's there giving a service, uh, server watcher, help, scripture, news. Okay. Ida, free Bibles. Ida's free Bible room. You need a Bible. Um, the Berean room, where we discuss end times findings off the prayer groups. Um, Brother Frank's holistic medicine room, um, which will get help you get away from Big Pharma. Leave a message there. Author Michael Middleton. Uh, art author yeah author michael middleton's room when you buy or purchase any of his books the the uh, proceeds go to ywam and then jess and communion and i miss the bible studies bible studies room from mary jess and tornell they are going three a day it is global 24 7 that's the place that i can offer you i'm just looking buttons are out. buttons are getting flexy on this thing now don't forget the other social media guys twitch we're on there it's building up we can do longer stuff on there we can do they're more flexible what we can put on there um do not forget to subscribe here as well we need your subscriptions if you like what we're doing if you like what we're doing the other things we're on is me we we're on instagram we're on rumble we have a mailing list. Just click on the mailing list in the, in the description and it'll come up and you just put your email and your name in and you're on the list. You don't have to do no more. I don't often post, but I'm now starting to post out over, I will be starting to post out over the um, over this period and that's certainly on high watch to encourage people. But brothers and sisters, on that note, I am going to leave you with, may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. We're home soon whatever soon is. God bless.